As part of the fight against COVID-19, people are staying home and running errands online. However, online shopping does come with certain risks. So here are a few tips to keep you safe while shopping online. Now let's start with Q10, an eBay venture that first started their business in Japan. Q10 requires sellers to register with a payment of between $100 and $500, as well as a submission of personal documents like bank statements and copies of their identification cards. A higher cash commitment and a more comprehensive registration process may deter any scammers who are out there looking to make a quick buck. In terms of payment protection, Q10 has an escrow payment service in which the payment is held by the Q10 escrow service until the buyer has confirmed the receipt as well as the good condition of their order. This offers buyers protection as money is held by Q10 until the goods are delivered. Popular marketplace Carousel operates just a little differently. It allows individuals like you and I to register and sell directly to buyers through a series of negotiations. However, there are a few reasons as to why this platform is more attractive to scammers. First, while there is an option to verify identity via SingPass, anyone can register using an email or phone number and sell without needing to pay a fee. Secondly, Although they now offer an escrow payment service through carousel protection, many sellers and buyers are still communicating and transacting through external apps like WhatsApp and PayNow. Our tip is to still make use of the buyer protection service available on carousel. Avoid making fund transfers for pre-orders or transactions, and if the seller does not use carousel protection, try to meet up in person to collect the goods. Some e-commerce sites offer a worry-free shopping experience with their certified shops. These may not necessarily be the cheapest, but you will be guaranteed of it being scam-free. Shopee allows both individuals and businesses to register, but Shopee Mall is only available to registered businesses as sellers have to submit business registration documents. And Shopee will also be verifying the authenticity of their products. They also have what they call Shopee Guarantee, which is an escrow payment to ensure that orders are successfully fulfilled before escrow is released to the seller within a time frame. Our tip is to be mindful of Shopee's guarantee period. If you have not yet received your order, you can extend your guarantee period by three days. But if you forget to do so, unfortunately, the payment will be released to the seller. Lazada allows both individuals and registered businesses to sell on their platform and they take a commission on their sales. They have a 15-day return policy if you're not satisfied with your product from Lazball. In terms of payment protection, Lazada also uses escrow payment like most shopping sites. Lazada's payment protection policy refunds unauthorized transactions made from your Lazada wallet or credit card. Now, our top tip for shopping on Lazada is to keep your purchases and communication with the seller within the app. This way, if the product turns out to be something other than you had expected, you will be able to request for a refund. To avoid this from happening though, shop on Lazmall. They guarantee to only carry authentic products. And if that's not the case, they will refund you twice the original amount. Homegrown e-commerce platform Easy Buy offers to ship products that are not available locally. So yes, you can buy your favorite instant noodles from Taiwan and cosmetic products all the way from the US. Payment is made to the sellers directly and Easy Buy charges a shipping fee. Escrow payment is not available on this platform, so our tip is to purchase an insurance at 3% of product value if your product is an expensive one. This is capped at $60. And if anything happens to your package, they will offer full compensation capped at $2,000. Another tip is to look at the quality and quantity of reviews. Say seller A has about 10 good reviews. But Seller B has over 100 of reviews, some are good and some are bad. Well, I think it's more reliable to go with Seller B. 
you can see that this review has similar comments from the same user. So I probably won't be buying from this seller. Another tip is to look at the timing of the reviews, whether they're all made at the same time. And look for repeated phrases too. And there you have it. I hope that these tips will help you shop safer and better online. Happy shopping! But remember, only buy what you need.